Hi, Lee Phillips, and I'm going to talk today about picking an individual for the trustee, the personal representative, executor, executrix, whatever you want to call that guy, and the agent, the guy who manages the durable power of attorney. So let's look at the qualifications that you're going to want for each of those. Now don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, toot the horn, do whatever you do, and don't forget to pick up the free copy of How to Use a Living Revocable Trust. So, the trustee is the guy who manages the trust assets. He needs to have some business sense. He's going to be selling the piece of property. He's going to be dealing with the brokers. He's going to be dealing with the, uh, with the different assets in your trust. That may be a farm. That guy may need to be a farmer. So this person, the trustee, is going to be picked on their ability to manage the trust assets. Are they frugal? Are they a spendthrift? If they can't rub two dimes together and keep them in their pocket, you don't want that guy managing your property. Another consideration for all three of these is what's the physical location of this guy? Uh, is he close enough to actually deal with the property? Uh, if you've got uh, the executor, executrix, we call him the personal representative today, uh, that guy's going to have to go to court. He's going to have to hire the lawyer. He's going to have to do the stuff. The trustee takes care of the trust assets. The executory executrix takes care of the probatable assets, the will, uh, and that may enter in if there's a guardianship, appointment of guardianship. We may have to go to court. And the executory executrix is going to take this to court and get the guardian appointed. Hopefully you've written that down in your will. The uh, agent is the guy who manages or works for you under the durable power of attorney. That's the document that kicks in and takes care of things when you become incompetent. So the trustee takes care of the trust assets. Now most of your assets are going to be over here. The agent in the durable power of attorney takes care of the stuff that's not in the trust while you're alive. That guy acts while you're alive. The executor, executrix takes care of the stuff that's not in the trust after you die. So we have the agent over here. They're often given agency over the health care directive. Uh, do we pull the plug? Uh, what do we do with you when you're incompetent, when you're uh, not going to recover from cancer? What do we do? That guy, the agent, in the durable power of attorney is often given that responsibility as well. So we've got the trustee, they need to be good at business, they need to be close. Actually all of these three guys need to be close physically because they're going to have to take care of stuff. The agent's going to have to uh, deal with your cell phone, they're going to have to deal with the gas company, they're going to have to deal with all sorts of stuff while you are alive. Instantly when you die the agent goes away. But while you're alive, this guy takes care of everything that the trustee doesn't take care of. When you die, the executor, executrix, takes care of everything that the trustee doesn't take care of. Uh, so they all need to be close. This one, the trustee needs to be good at financial stuff. The executor, executrix, they need to be good at paperwork, red tape, bureaucracy. Uh, and the agent needs to be good at making decisions for you. The same person can often act as trustee, executor, executrix, and the agent. That's okay. It's often a son or a daughter who's close physically uh, and who is responsible. Now sometimes we have somebody who's really responsible. The son who's the accountant, he doesn't live right close. So we'll name him as a co-trustee with the daughter who lives close. She can act as the legwork, he can do the directing. So that sort of thing will work. <coughs> we don't like to do groups very often. It's hard to get stuff through a group and have everybody uh, agree. But sometimes we do that sort of thing. It isn't unusual for us to have the trustee, the guy who who, who does the business stuff, 
be different than the guy who does the personal, uh, a, a, the agent stuff under the durable power of attorney. And the reason is they're going to make decisions on your health care, whether you go on into the rest home, whether you do this and that and the other. I, I've had people, I say, okay, Johnny's going to be the trustee. Do you want him to be the agent too? Hell no. He'd pull a plug. Uh, so uh, you can pick different people based upon their characteristics to, to manage the assets and to take care of your personal needs. These are considerations that you need to take into account when you name the trustee, the executor, executrix, and the agent under the durable power of attorney. Uh, this is Lee Phillips, and I'm talking on who do you pick for these guys?